This New Day cooking segment brought to you by Ferguson Bath Kitchen and Lighting Gallery, powered by Electrolux. Welcome back, everybody, to Wellness Wednesday. In 2000, the year 2000, Chef Dwayne Sunwald was a culinary arts instructor who found himself 75 pounds overweight and diagnosed with chronic kidney disease. Under the guidance of his medical team, though, he made major changes to his diet. He did this on his own, with his fortitude, and eventually stopped the progression of his disease. Today, Dwayne's kidney disease is in remission, and he's inspiring others to change their eating patterns. Please welcome Chef Dwayne Sunwald. It's so good to meet you. Thank you. That's great. I want, I'm hoping we can put it up of your, your driver's license. Right. In the I'm sorry, it looks like a mug shot. Sorry about that. But the point is that, you know, we see before and after, and you look like a different person. Yeah. When you look at that, what do you think? I, I feel like a different person. Yeah, it's amazing. What were the symptoms of the kidney disease? Um, I first started with losing lots and lots of energy, and then Which my... everybody hates. That's right. the worst, And right? then my blood pressure just went skyrocketing. Wow. So you knew you had to do something. Now, had you been eating poorly, I unhealthily? Thought, I thought I was eating healthy, um, but living and working in restaurants, oh, we don't gosh. eat as healthy as we should. Right, and yeah. it, it turned out not to be true, my theory that what you ate standing up doesn't count. That turns <laughs> out not to be true, I'm sorry. So what was the biggest thing you had to get rid of and how did you change your diet? Well, first I got rid of salt and then the biggest impact was I switched from animal protein to plant-based protein. Okay, so yeah. let's talk today about some of the recipes that work. Okay. And you're making, so first of all, the pasta salad looks great over here, but what are we making? We're making a sweet potato and black bean burrito and this Yum. recipe is awesome because people who are meat eaters will not miss the meat. That's good because even right. if we can go a day or two without meat, then that's yes. a plus. Right. All right, let's talk so about this. So what I need you to do in. is put in the, the garlic okay. and cumin. Now, is that going to be enough? That's just a little tiny bit It'll of garlic. It'll be okay, trust okay. me. <laughs> the cumin. And then the chili powder. All of it. All of it. Okay. And then put in about half the black beans and that's... Oh, black beans. I thought you were going to say black pepper. How's that? That's good. All right. And then we're going to add the vegetable stock. Thank you for stirring mm -hmm. that. You want it to stick. Thank you. Yes. Yep. Ooh, that smells so good. And the black so, beans give us what? They're our protein source. Mm -hmm. And a great way of reducing the sodium is to soak them in water, fresh water. Yeah. And that'll take some of the extra salt out. How long do we soak them for? You can actually soak them overnight in the refrigerator or even just 20 minutes will make a big difference. And rinse them off. And rinse there you go. Off. Here, yep. I'll give you your okay. instrument back Thank here. you. All right. So now I need you to just sprinkle a little black pepper on Alrighty. this. And why are the beans a better source of protein than the meat? Is it just the difference in the fat? Um, well, animal protein has a little higher acidity, and they don't understand all the reasons why animal protein is harder on our kidneys than plant-based, but they just know from results, and I'm one of those results, mm -hmm. that if you go plant-based, your kidneys respond much quicker. How long did it take you to lose the weight you wanted to lose? It took me a couple of years, but what was amazing was as soon as I changed my diet, within two weeks I started feeling better. Wow. It was just almost instant. And you actually managed to get off the medication yeah, you were I'm on completely, completely off of all medications and I'm in complete remission. Give me five. That's so. amazing. I mean, that's really amazing because that turned a chronic disease into yes. a don't have it disease. Right. All right, so what so do we do now? What we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of roasted sweet potatoes, put so them in. you just in. roasted those, scraped them out, yep. stirred them around. Yep. Okay. Then we're going to put in what you just made, the black beans that have this great chili seasoning to them. And if you're worried about carbs, that's not a ton of beans, so right. you're fine. We're fine. Now we're just going to put a little bit of sour cream in there to give it some moisture, and mm -hmm. we all like sour cream. But you could use yogurt if you want, You right? could. Yogurt would be a great substitute. You know what? I've done that, and I swear I never miss the sour cream. Yeah, most yeah, people don't. Fine. Yeah. We're going to put a little bit of cheese, and then we're just going to roll these up, put them in a baking dish, mm -hmm. and then you're going to bake them off till they're nice and warm and kind of bubbly inside. Yum. And then all we've done here is we've roasted some red peppers and then just pureed them. So it makes a great sauce. So as you can see over here, this is what they're going to look like when they come out with a little bit of green Those onions and cilantro. And so why do you do that instead of like a salsa? Um, I like this because it actually has more nutrients. And for kidney patients, we have to cut back on the tomatoes. Yep. 
because yep. of potassium and phosphorus. Right. So, okay, yeah. good, good mm -hmm. point. Now I notice you have dessert over here. Well, so of course we're not we have to have dessert. <laughs> That's my thought. <laughs> so this is actually a caramel apple pound cake. Oh my goodness. It's very low sugar mm -hmm. and I actually made this for dialysis patients because dialysis patients sometimes have to have more protein. So this actually has a lot more protein in it than most cakes. How do you do that? Um, for this one, um, because dialysis patients don't have to go with plant-based, um, I used egg whites for this. And I've also, um, you can use wheat gluten. Wheat gluten is a great protein source for kidney patients because it's not high in potassium and phosphorus. Okay, and then for sweetener, what do you use? For this one, um, I actually used fresh apples. Oh, wow. I, so you I, we, didn't even go take, with like take, a substitute or anything. Right, you take fresh apples. apples and you peel them, core them, and then microwave them, and then just let them cool down a little bit before you put them in the batter, and it adds some natural sweetener, and it supports our local orchards. Absolutely. Now, what have you done about sugar? So for sugar, um, I've used sugar substitutes, um, but I really like stevia because it's a natural yeah. product. And yeah. it tastes good. Can it does you taste bake good. with it and do the other you things can. that you want to do? Some people find a little bit of a metallic taste, so it's some people have a problem with it. I don't find that taste, so I bake with it all the time. Okay. Yeah. Now, I, I want to bring you over here to the pasta yes. dish. So this is a roasted vegetable pasta dish. This is so great for the summer because you can throw the vegetables on the barbecue mm -hmm. while you're boiling the pasta, and then you just put this all together, and it's got a great vinaigrette with no salt added to it. That's awesome. So what would you say to somebody out there who knows they have either weight to lose or they do have a chronic disease that would benefit from a, a healthier, more Mediterranean diet and getting rid of some of these things? How would you encourage them to go go forward? You know, my biggest my biggest push is more vegetables. Um, start putting more vegetables on your plate. Start putting more vegetables even in your tomato sauce. Um, because there's this power of plants that I don't think we've really appreciated till just recently. Right, and if we just learn to maybe season some of these things a little better, yes, that too can make it yes. you know, more fun. To egg, eggplant can be exciting. Yes, and experiment um, with those seasonings. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you so much. Chef Dwayne is the keynote speaker at Northwest Kidney Center's annual Breakfast of Hope tomorrow morning at the West in Seattle. The event raises money for nutrition services and care for people in need living with kidney disease. Very important. Thank you again. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Very happy you're well. Our doctors assemble for this week's expert panel when Wellness Wednesday returns.